signs and moon and stars and tunes. Reading signs and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall the positive way you show up in the planet. Now, with that being said, let's get in there like a swimwear. Now, you know, I got to remind people, I have a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a clone, a wannabe me, but try to do it better than me, an English professor, a WhatsApp bandit. And a voodoo high priest is all floating through that comment section. That voodoo high priest or priestess is promising to get your love back for a small fee of $39.99. All you got to do is sign your life away on the dotted line. Do not fall for the okie doke people. If you got to be in somebody's will for them to be with you or for you to be with them, they don't need you and you definitely don't need them. This is past, present, or future energies. Parts may resonate with you, parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. This could be someone in your environment, someone thinking of you, you're thinking of them, an ex, a co-worker, a past over lover. You may or may not know these individuals. Now, if I didn't say it again, I'm going to say it. If I didn't say it before, I'm going to say it again. Let's get in there like a swimwear. We got Sun and Gemini, and I noticed that when the cards came out, it came out. Uh, with Gemini present, okay? So for some of you, you're definitely in a soul binding contract is what I'm getting. Uh, Gemini, this could be communication, all right, or travel for some of you. Some of you, you could, I'm hearing something about a satellite dish, okay? Some of you may be getting satellite um, installed. Some of you may be taking a flight, okay? This could also mean just travel moving forward, okay? Somebody feels on top of the world. You may have a bird's eye view of a situation that's taking place. I'm hearing bystanders. So for some of you, you're going to be witnessing a lot of things happening uh, going forward, all right? Somebody could live by a, um, a airport. I'm also hearing a naval base, but this is telling me that there's some sort of change surrounding a contract, okay? Of course, you could be a Gemini or someone in your environment, maybe, but as a whole, this is talking about either your siblings, soul contracts, soul mates, soul ties. Someone feels fragmented with Shanghai here. Of course, some of you can, I heard scavenger hunt. I don't know. How that's going to resonate with you. Some of you may be practicing feng, feng shui, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, we got Libra here. I'm here in balancing the scales. Some of you, you could be Libras. You could be dealing with the Libra. All right. For some of you, that you could be on the cups of Virgo and Libra. Libra and Scorpio. Take it how it resonates. But this is talking about communication having to do with balancing the scales. Okay. I'm also hearing something about... Um, working together like a group uh, projects here. I feel like somebody may be leaving from one job, okay, or, or person and going to the next. Some of you, you may have clothes or items scattered all over the way, all over, but with fragmented energy being here, this is telling me that somebody is distorted. Of course, somebody could be cast in bones or, uh, you know, you could be like, uh, what is that? Somebody that studies um, bones or structures or something like that. But this is telling me somebody's energy is fragmented, though. Okay, with Taurus being here, somebody gets paid uh, to work with bones. Take it how it resonates. I mean, that could be like, somebody could be like, a, what is that? Um, I, I heard orthopedic, but an optometrist, isn't that for the eyes? But we do have illusions here. Okay, somebody may be getting their eyes checked or having cataracts or, or something like that. But what I'm getting is someone deals with bones. Somebody could be having a body exhumed or something like that. With prayers being here, somebody may have felt like they seen something. Okay, like a shadow figure or something like that. Some of you, you could be in the woods or camping. Okay, you definitely could be a shaman with that being here next to 
Chiron healing. Somebody's a healer in this situation. Someone may want to heal something with you. But this is about your love life, okay? As well as the things that keep you going, the things that you invest in, your money, your time, okay? Friends or lack thereof with Taurus being here, okay? Somebody may see you as stubborn or there was a stubborn individual. We also have sun in Virgo. You could be a Virgo. They could be a Virgo. But this is definitely talking about a harvest. Whatever you invested in, okay, you're going to definitely sow that. What you reap what you sow here. Okay, somebody could have a moon in Aquarius, a sun in Aquarius, but this is about the future. So this definitely could be a future event for some of you. We also have moon in Libra, uh, eclipse in Virgo. So those signs are going to be, um, I'm hearing prevalent in this reading. You could be dealing with those signs, but this is telling me about healing as a collective, as a whole. Some of you, you could be traveling OK, you could be a traveling nurse, a traveling doctor. Some of you, you may be going like on a getaway. OK, I heard an excursion. Some of you, I don't know where, why I have, I'm seeing mountains. OK, so that's going to be significant. Somebody could stay near the mountains. There could be smoke in a mountain. I heard smoke. Um, what is that? Inhaliation. OK, I don't know if somebody is coughing or somebody was in a fire. You could be a firefighter as well. We got Capricorn. So this is about your stability. 22 is an ascended master's number. This is telling me somebody has their foot on solid ground, but also in the spiritual realm. Take it how it resonates. We got sun and Pisces. So you could be a healer or somebody could be going to a healer or going to someone that's into divination. OK, I feel like as you travel away from this, um, I'm hearing a job loss or a partnership loss. Some of you are going to gain some sort of healing. So keep that in mind. Hydromancy is here with illusions. This is talking about rose colored glasses. OK, um, putting two on a 10, making something to be more than what it what it what it is or what it ain't. Why is illusions here? Clarity. So. There was some sort of illusion in the past. Somebody gained some sort of clarity. Again, you could be Aquarius. Uh, somebody could be a Capricorn as well as what is this? Oh, uh, shit. A Virgo. Taurus Virgo Cap. Yeah. OK, so you're going to gain some sort of clarity with the Ace of Air. This is cutting down all illusions. Some of you, you may be seeing doves or birds. Or something like that. Some of you, you're seeing flashes of white light. This is confirmation for some, for somebody. This uh, four or fire cards is my ancestors card. So this is about stability here. Something is here for you or for whoever this resonates with. Okay. Again, this could be somebody in your environment that's going uh, through this. This could also indicate, you know, a passing over. OK, someone getting their wings. But this is also telling me that somebody may be traveling, traveling back home or traveling to a specific site of some kind. OK, this could have something to do with friends or family with Gemini being here. Why is change here? Somebody had a change of heart. We got the temperance angel. Ooh, and we have undies and mermaids. So some of you, your public speakers are you are speaking to a collective of people, okay? Maybe about an event. You have to take it how it resonates. But undies and mermaids, this is talking about somebody that's in communication. So definitely um, this is going to resonate for somebody that possibly has a platform or a doctor, okay? Uh, yeah. All right. For some of you, this could be somebody in a court hearing, okay? This could be a situation where somebody was uh, forced upon. OK, let me just say that um, a R-ing situation, somebody's dealing with somebody's not so good. And, you know, I, I don't really want to hear anybody say that, you know, I'm working with people. That's why I can't say these words to me. That's telling me that you want me to say these words so my platform can get shut down. All right. So if I say r -ing, some of you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. With this undies and, undies and mermaids next to fragmented, somebody could be going to a museum or looking at some sort of ancient artifacts. That's why I'm getting like uh, ex ex 
excavation. Okay, somebody could be traveling to sacred land with the guardian angel. This is about a passed over loved one for some of you, okay? Somebody may be critiquing your work or you're critiquing theirs. Four of air. This speaks about somebody being attacked from all angles, all right? Somebody having to rest or somebody that can't rest, okay? Somebody's deep in their thoughts about some sort of communication, with fairies and sylphs being here, somebody could be an artist, you could be a teacher. For some of you, this may be like a download that you receive in the dream state. Some of you, you are clairvoyance, uh, clair, you have all the clairs or one or something like that, okay? If you don't know what that is, I suggest you look it up. But somebody's very hypersensitive to their environment. Yeah, we got Expanya some more Virgo energy. This is about healing. It could be three or more uh, individuals that was caught up in a situation with the five of air being here. This is talking about a bully, whether if it's a physical bully, a spiritual bully. This is also talking about an abusive relationship. Now, that relationship could be platonic or romantic. Ace of Earth. This is about a new opportunity. Some of you, you're getting um, a new job, okay? This new job may be something that keeps you fragmented. You are advised to practice some sort of cleansing uh, ritual. Some of you, you're going to be bombarded with work. It may be hard for you to uh, to focus here with some sort of information that you may be uh, receiving. Some of you, you deal with the public, so people are very critical of what you say and what you do. Definitely, you could be into public speaking. Why is smoke and prayers here? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody either um, has cut out some sort of illusion is what I'm getting. Okay, or somebody is praying to bring some sort of clarity to you. Yeah, praying to bring some sort of clarity to you with Shango being here. Somebody could work with the justice system or some form of law, whether if it's spiritual law or if it's actual law. With the female Ashu being here, this tells me that this is someone that's into divination, possibly all forms of divination. But this is my Pambagaira card. We have Gimia. This is telling me that this is a mother or a wife figure, okay, that could be working with Pambagaira. Somebody may be trying to get married, okay, or going to get married. You could have a destination wedding. This is, uh, that's been coming up also. I'm here to keep it to yourself. With Shango here, we have Shango there. This is definitely speaking about a marriage, a partnership, something that's equally yoked after somebody gains some sort of clarity. I don't know that, that Ace, of, Ace of Earth here next to... Yeah, that's a new job. Somebody going to feel like overwhelmed. It may be hard for someone to sleep. Libra, why is this here? Somebody could feel guilty as well. Okay. So we got message from Earth in reverse as well as Ogun. Okay. The major arcana in this deck do not go reverse, but I'm going to tell you what I feel here. Somebody does not feel protected. Ogun deals with metal, uh, steel, heavy machinery. I don't know if someone got into a car accident. I believe in the last reading, that warning came up towards the end. I didn't really touch base basis uh, on that because I was guided not to. With message from Earth, somebody may be expecting some sort of windfall. However, they're not going to get it. Somebody felt protected or they thought that they were going to get a lump sum of money. But we have the nine of, of water here in reverse. Somebody could be somebody could be a Cancer Moon, Cancer Sun, Scorpio, Pisces, but somebody's sick. Somebody may have invested in trying to make this high priestess sick. For some of you, this is someone's spouse. Okay, someone that possibly was into some sort of spell work. This was this person's soulmate. This was a lesson for this individual this lifetime. Soulmates are not necessarily meant to stay in our lives forever. Although some of us, we do try to do that. We try to make people 
stay in our lives forever or make them feel guilty when it's time to move forward. Okay. I'm hearing it's a, it was a lesson. So stop stressing. We got the nine of air. Somebody be, could be having nightmares. Okay. Somebody may be getting haunted by the past or haunted by uh, an energy, a deity, a, a, a soul. Okay. Especially if this has something to do with the justice system. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get too far into it because again, I have all, um, Shapes, sizes, and people from all walks of life and professions that do watch me, okay? I'm hearing in regret. I'm also hearing a too, a too, what is, too late, a little too late here. Somebody is in grief because they can't sleep. There was some money that exchanged hands, all right? This could also indicate a fight, Okay? With the ten of fire, there was a heavy burden placed on someone, or they attempted to place a heavy burden on someone. They wanted someone to juggle with the two of earth. They wanted this person to 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 feel discombobulated, or somebody wanted you or whoever this is to feel regret, to weigh options. This is somebody that's trying to place a heavy burden on the individual to keep them from moving forward into their calling. And they are receiving karma for that with the four of water. That's why I'm hearing a little too late to a little too late. Yeah. It's a little too late with the outcast. This is somebody that possibly traveled to have someone put you in a position where you feel attacked from all angles. Okay. You, you, when you, when you dish it, you have to be able to take it. Okay. So be mindful of that because if you do not know what comes around, goes around, it definitely does. And we did see. You reap what you sow. And definitely somebody is reaping what they sow. Why is Ace of Air here? Somebody's getting caught off guard. Somebody cut down some sort of illusion. This could also have something to do with the Justice Department. Okay. Somebody having to see what's factual and what's not. Somebody's gaining clarity. For some of you, you are in the justice. Uh, you are justice. You could be a lawyer. You could be a police officer. You could be a sheriff. You could be a judge with Shango and Libra being here. However, somebody's having to weed through all the bullshit. And, and what I'm getting is this is a lot of people watching social media and, and, um, communicating their thoughts and feelings pertaining to a situation. We have a lot of Taurus on the board, okay? A lot of earth energy, all right? Ogun is cancer. That's water energy, even though it has a sword. Somebody could have a mix of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Why is Ace of Air here? Somebody doesn't feel protected. Again, somebody could have been in an accident. Something having to do with steel, metal, especially with this airplane right here. Somebody may be getting delayed, okay, with the message from Earth being here reversed. This is about, I'm hearing a stay at court, if I'm saying that right. Something may be being pushed off because somebody may be on a trip. OK, somebody's possibly planning a trip to, you know, to do some work on somebody. I'm not going to hold back. We got crossing boundaries, limit your engagement, speak your truth, victim blaming and isolation. OK, by whoever this envious and jealous person was. See, they were using someone to get from point A to point B. This is like um, a structure of foundation falling. OK, hopefully it's not an actual bridge, but that's what it is with uh, somebody could be leaving from her LAX or San Francisco airport or something like that. If that's not uh, the actual airport that someone is leaving from, it could be a city like place, 
a big city or something like that. We have somebody that's envious and jealous. Okay. This person wanted you to, uh, you know, they didn't want you to have a love life. For some of you, this person wanted to make you sick. They wanted you to appear sick or something like that because you stopped sleeping with them, whether if you're a male or female. Undies and mermaids. This could also be someone that got on social media and tried to defame someone's character. Okay. This person lacks empathy. They are a poor communicator. They may talk loud here. Somebody who's, I'm hearing change their focus. This person has to change their focus. We got growing up is giving up games. We have somebody that's into finessing people. This is someone that talks loud, talks a lot of shiznit, and they're always being tempted by the devil. Undies and mermaids. Somebody wants to come through with some sort of of information for some of you is going to be facts about a new opportunity for some of you this person is going to come with something confusing somebody wants to be infamous in this situation this would be the person that lacks empathy or sympathy we have lord of the spirits they should they shall have no honor okay so yeah this is this is like a bunch of people riding the bandwagon on social media Okay, speaking about an incident where someone may be locked up, okay, or yeah, it could be a murder trial, it could be a hearing or something like that. Somebody could also be reporting on this type of stuff. Somebody could be getting flown out or somebody has to go to a different destination, possibly abruptly here. They may feel scattered. Somebody may have to just throw a whole bunch of stuff into a suitcase. They could be running from the law is also what I'm getting. This is someone that's diabolical with the mind manipulation tax tactics. This is someone that does something ritualistically. Why is Ace of Air here? Damn. And I seen it, but I didn't show it. We got the Nephilim, Cambion. Somebody could be going to Texas or coming from Texas. We have an offspring of a fallen angel and a human, a son of a woman or a man and the devil. Or someone that takes on a lot of demonic energy. This person would be stubborn. They could be a Taurus. You could be a Taurus. Sun, moon, or rising. South node or north node. North node. This person may also have Gemini in their chart, but it don't necessarily have to be. For some of you, this is speaking about your child. Okay, it could be a nephew for some of you. It could also be someone that grew up like a friend. Okay, that may have associations with some people in other towns here. Somebody's going to get caught off guard when they get off a plane. We got stay focused. OK, we're talking about somebody I'm hearing an adolescent, but this could be a grown up that would a would a uh, that suffers from arrested development. We got think now, believe now, act now. So this person is acting erratically here. This is somebody that is overcome with weakness is also what I'm getting. We got so many options of distraction and fate. All right. So somebody goes from town to town doing diabolical, low down, dirty shit. For some of you, it's a husband. For some of you, it's a son. For others of you, this is a friend or a nephew. It could be a female that's in her masculine energy. However, we have a husband here and the son there. We got growing up is giving up gains. For some of you, this person could be close to 50 or over 50. Somebody is definitely into... Um, Street walking, whether if it's a male or a female, this person is definitely running from the law. Why is Shango here? Shango. And when these come out like that, we got chemical engineer. So somebody's a street pharmacist or they have some sort of lab. Okay. This is also someone that has either a mental conflict and or some sort of mental inabilitation inhabilitation or something like that. This person may have some sort of psychiatric disorder. If this person is, is someone that you know, this person may have, um, I'm hearing a plethora of people on their phone, like different windows open up of different people. This person may spend a lot of time on social media. 
Okay, I'm also hearing discord or DMs or something like that. This could have something to do with a college situation. Somebody could be traveling to see friends or something or family in another state. We got the friend that's always in your business. This is a traitor. This is a friend of me. The family member that sleeps with your partner, backstabber and ten of swords. So somebody feels like their prayers was answered in the past. There was some sort of justice. Some of you, you could have gotten a restraining order or someone got locked up. All right. We got not a fact here. So we have a friend that told a lie about you or regarding the situation. We have law of secure. You have the power to influence any event that takes place in the world. You could be a Leo. They could be a Leo. Or this is just someone that has a lot of courage. You may also resonate with cat deities, entities. You may have a lot of cats. I don't know why I'm hearing somebody works at the zoo or somebody spends a lot of time with animals. Why is not a fact here? But this not a fact on top of prayers. I feel like this, and not only that, we got not a fact on top of prayers and the friend that's always in your business. This is someone that prays on the people closest to them. Okay, that's what this is about. For some of you, this could be a co-worker. Not a fact, a co-worker could be telling you about their child or something in their family. Something happening in their family. Not a fact. This could also be happening to someone's relative. Or in the neighborhood you live in. Some of you, you may witness someone going to jail. Not a fact. Why is this here? We got nuclear waste. And every time I see this, I, I hear Freon. So this is telling me somebody's chemical. They, they have some chemical issues or something like that too many cars came on so yeah pollution somebody could work in um, a factory somebody could work with chemicals definitely if mm, if someone works with airplanes or something like that here this came out before somebody could have been in an accident for some of you, somebody may have said that they were in an accident and they weren't and they end up getting in one. Uh, and I'm hearing the boy that cried wolf. That could be significant for some of you. This could be a brother or a sister. But, you know, we got the masculine energy. Not not a fact. Why is this here? All right. So somebody could have been in an accident. Surrounded a natural disaster, but with the ten of, ten of swords here, the friend, this is a tornado. But somebody could be in uh, somebody can in, be in a place where there's a natural disaster, a tsunami, a tornado, a hurricane. You may see a twister or something like that. We got W A R. <laughs> what it isn't good for. on the table you could definitely be in the place where that is taking place but what i'm getting is this person starts a lot of fights possibly alcohol induced fights okay this person may uh you know they may register as a terrorist okay somebody could be online making terroristic threats or something like that why did i start this over Ocean pollution, somebody could be flying over the ocean or somebody could be, you know, somebody could be on a boat. But I feel like somebody threw something in the water. So somebody could be finding something in the water regarding this soulless being with zombies being here. Oh, yeah, we're talking about terrorist threats. Somebody threatens people online or could it be a text message? Why is message from Earth here? We got the underworld and candles, okay? <laughs> and the sting. I'm telling you, somebody going to get stinged, boy. They're going to get stinged. We got lack of imagination, uncertain of your place in the world, underworld. So this person, they've been having dreams. They know what's coming. We got St. Matthew. You write, your, you write your own story. Sacrificing your life for principle, the gift of Yahweh. 
This person lacked accountability. All right. This person may be wishing they took a message back or somebody does not realize the severity of their actions and what they are doing. They possibly don't believe that they could go to jail for whatever they're doing. But somebody's watching someone. This person got bad advice or gave bad advice, but this is definitely a bad investment. And you're going to gain some sort of clarity about that. You possibly may be cutting this person off. For some of you, you may be jogging your memory here about a situation. Some of you, you may have slept with this person. This is a master manipulator. Why is all going here? That's my sign. Hold on. So, yeah, somebody could be there's a there's a change. It's going to be a positive change for you. And everybody that's involved in the situation surrounding the justice system. We got Archangel Seraphim, the highest ranking of Seraphim that burns away sin. Somebody needs to pray. Somebody needs to re repent. Okay. You have a lot of celestial beings covering you. And here we have it. For some of you, you're going to be able to, I'm hearing, start a business or go on about your business. You may have to testify in court or this could be a court hearing. Nine of air, why is this here? You may be a juror. Somebody may have to testify. It could be an expert witness or somebody that is an expert getting flying, flown in from a different country, a different state, or something like that. We have tourists here, tourists there. So there's a tourist involved in this situation. And we also have Gemini card. So for some of you, this is a soulmate that... Um, they're learning a lesson from or with. We have lack of emotion, uncertain of your place in this world, the underworld. Somebody could have Scorpio or this is surrounding the ending. At the end of the day, somebody's receiving karma. OK, I'm hearing they're just due. OK, so some of you, you pass the test or you're going to pass a test. OK, somebody was misled. I'm not even going to go into there, but but somebody has. Um, someone that's on their side there's justice that's going to be served in this situation somebody was misled okay most definitely okay and this person is having anxiety they could they they're having fruitions of themselves in the underworld deuces